Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited for this video because I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite planner and stationery supplies. So grab a coffee, grab a tea, snack, because I have a feeling this is going to be just a little bit longer than usual. But we are going to jump right into it. So let's start with the planners. These are my absolutely favorite sizes right now. I have a personal for my faith planner. I have the personal wide as a social media planner and the A5 for my catch-all planner. Recently, I made a video where I switched from pocket to an A6 for my on-the-go planner. And to be very honest, this is a little bit chunky and heavy. I mean, I could make it a little bit skinnier, but I am going to try. I'm really going to try to make this work because the pocket, I mean, it's a love and hate relationship. I love how small it is and how easy it is to carry, but I it did not work for me. So I am trying the A6. If you want to see me setting this one up, I do have a video linked down below. So these are my current favorite sizes. I don't want to say the A6 is a favor just because I don't know how it's going to work, but these are. And I am expecting three new planners, two from VDS, a personal wide and an A5, and one from Julio. So for me to order the price point of them is because I really like the size. So since we are talking about planners, I just want to show you some of the decal that I have because a lot of you ask. So here I have some dashboards from Crafty Brina. She's on Etsy and I absolutely love her dashboards and her page flags. I have a lot of them. They are everywhere. Like I have it in every single planner. Sometimes in the front and in the back, like this one. Really pretty. And I also have it on some books. I am reading this one right now, and I really want to get like my to do's more like organized. And once I have a, once I can apply his system, which is getting things done, you guys probably heard about it, I will make a video. I just need to get like to a very good spot and I also want to finish the book before I do the video and so I do have a page flag right here I have a longer one let me just pull it right here on this one which is my devotional book this is really pretty so I love her dashboards and her page mark so moving on with the deco I do have a few Ali clips and I usually have them on my planner in case I need them I have this rose gold and I have this one is new and I mean newer and it's really pretty I love the neutrals you guys know that I have some other ones I probably have one in each planner and there is a really nice one this is a pink one but I do I, there is a I don't know where it is maybe it's in my okay it's here it's in my a6 this is another newer one and I love the color so let's talk a little bit more about deco. This is from Color Cafe. She is on Etsy. This is another bookmark from Crafty Brina. This is from Paper Alley. And the cards are from, this is from Cloth and Paper. This is from EO Edit. I, I have purchased a few sets from her. And this, this one is kind of heavy. This is from Planner Press. And the other ones are from Cloth and Paper and EO Edits as well. And this is from, I believe, Hey Planner Girl. I will link everything down below for you guys. This, I have it in a few of my planners. I love making it. I just do the name and my Cricut. I put it on a vellum and I laminate it. This is a new dashboard. I actually got it yesterday and it's from Lucy Plans Life and it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I will definitely be going back for more dashboards. This is a overview tab. You can only get this if you are subscribed to Cloth and Paper. However, they have one that says today, which I do have it in my on-the-go planner. And I just love it. I put my sticky notes and whatever I want to remember, I will put it right here. And I do have C 
some cards from La Naomi. I always have trouble saying her shop's name, but look how pretty these are. I love these. I will be definitely shopping there again. This is also from her. This planner belongs to, and then it has my name. This is from Planner Press. The card holder is from Cloth and Paper. Um, these came with a subscription box from Cloth and Paper, and these here are from, this one is from Crafty Brina, and this is from EO Edits. This is another dashboard from Crafty Brina. I, like I told you, I love her dashboards and page flags. This is from EO Edits, and she has a lot of these mood boards, and they are all freebies, so highly recommend. My dividers are from Cloth and Paper. I have a set of six over here, and I have four top ones right here. The labels, these are from, I think it's called Scribbles. I will link it down below. She's on Etsy. And I also have labels from Erica Craft. Like these are from Erica Crafts. So something else I'm really enjoying is the dashboards from Cat's Presso Co. And I have one here that it's so pretty. These things are really pretty, but when I'm filming, they make so much noise, I should probably remove when I film. So this is from Cat's Presso Co. And it's really pretty. It lays really well on top of a dashboard. The pins I have from, from a couple of shops. This is from Color Cafe. She's a sweetheart and she's on Etsy. And I have some other ones from Love with Jamel. This is from Love with Jamel. This is another page mark from Crafty Brina. And this is one of, another dashboard. This is from Love with Jamel. And it's super cute and I just leave it like right there. This was a freebie from Crafty Brina. It says 2022. I won't talk about all the deco because that would be hours of a video, but I will go through most of them. This is from Love with Jamel. This I got at Joanne. I think it was at Joanne. This cute card is from Sterling Inc. It came with my subscription. So I have some other things here just to decorate. And I wanted to show you, so I have another one of the Cat's Presso Co. right here. Love it. I also want to show you something else from Cat's Presso Co. It's a dashboard, like a, it's a vinyl dashboard, and it fits 3 by 3 journaling cards. And these I just made in Canva, and they are two of my favorite verses. So love this. And what else do I have back here? This came with a set from Amazon and it also came with a page lifter that I leave it one in the back so that it will lay like flat when you close it and I also put one right here when it's kind of chunky and it's hard to turn the pages this really helps so let me put the planners back right here Oh, wait, one more deco I just received. I haven't even put anything inside. This is also from Cat's Presso Co. And this is an A6. I haven't decorated yet, but I will. And I also got this one from her, which is super cute. Let me show you. It's kind of hard. And this angle, I hope this angle is working. So I have some of my stickers. And they have like, two, it has two pockets and it has a slit so it's um easy to let me just put it this bit right here because it's kind of hard to do it with one hand and then it will just stay put right there and it's really pretty okay so now let's talk about organizers my favorite organizers are these three and they are all from amazon and they will be linked down below this one, I mainly keep all my sticky notes, and these are my favorites. I have some that I'm not using, and I took them out of here before 
I started this video. So these are like my favorites. In the back here, I have some, most of them right now are from cloth and paper. So I have this lined one. This actually came with my subscription box, which I did cancel. I order from them probably every month, but I feel like now I'm getting things that I am using. And with the subscription, at least for me, this is my personal experience. With the subscription, I wouldn't use everything, but now whatever I order, I'm probably spending the same amount of money because the subscription was what, 39, I think. And, but I get what I, I'm actually gonna use. So I'm happier doing that. Then I have this task one and memo and inbox. Then I have some shapes here as well as tab sticky notes. This is a set and it comes with the transparent and the regular one. These two are from my paper co. She's on Etsy and you know what I use this the most to print. I'll show you to print sticky notes like this one this i used a white and i bought it from amazon but there is another one over here that i like using the colorful ones the neutral see this one i used one of those sticky notes so i have these two and then i have some more shapes here from cloth and paper and in the front here, I have my transparent ones, which I love the transparent sticky notes. So I have a few colors of it. And I recently got this one, which I love using it. And I will show you how I use it on my planner in a minute. Then I have these cards that I got from Arden and Stationery. I do have a discount code and it will be linked down below. It it's a set and it comes with, let me show you daily check-in daily intentions and daily affirmation so love using them put it over here so i can see it and here i have some page flags which i am not finding myself using this a lot i prefer this size so i might not order these and just continue to order the square ones so keep all my sticky notes right here if you look on the Amazon, my, my Amazon storefront, it's going to look like a makeup container, but it's, it's this thing. Then I have this one that I also got from Amazon, and I keep all my favorite highlighters, favorite pens, other highlighters right here. And these are the ones that I don't use all the time, so I like dividing them. And then, like I said, all my page flags matching my sticky notes over the round ones and these I got from Amazon and I will show you when we go to this organizer right here I made another video um, a few months ago showing my favorite supplies and I showed some of these highlighters but I do have some new ones that I want to share with you so let me grab a piece of paper here and I will do a swatch and just so you know these are the ones that i use the most these came with the set and i just left out the ones that i use all the time so let's do the neutrals first this is 990 i will lift the paper so you can see better once i am done swatching them this is 992, a little bit darker. This one is 942. Then I have two pink ones, the 772. And this one is 800. Then these are the last three that I purchased. I think I got these last week. So it hasn't been long, but I love all of them. 
So this is N75. This one is N95. And this one is N60. A little bit darker than the other two. And here is all of them. If you want to do, take a screenshot. There you go. Since we are talking about pen and highlighters, these are my actually three favorite pens. I will show you this one. I talk about it all the time. In my first video when I had just purchased, I did not like this pen because it's kind of like grayish. However, it erases and is just very handy because I am one, if I mess up my spread, I am going to start all over. I don't really love using a whiteout, so this is great. And it's called Friction from, I think this is Pilot. It will be on my Amazon favorites. This I also buy from Amazon and it's the Muji and it's 0 0.38. So super fine. When I want my writing to look better, I do use this one instead. This is the Uni, it's called Unipin oil-based ink. And it's amazing for transparent sticky notes. It does not smudge, it dries right away. So I love using them on my transparent ones. And let me show you, I said I was gonna show you how I use the sticky note. I always have like my happy mail right here and I usually will use a transparent sticky note. This one is not transparent, it's the regular. So whatever I'm waiting for, I will usually use a transparent sticky note right here. I also use them on my weekly spread. If you have seen my plan with me videos, I use them. Let me show you right there. And this is a verse. Love using them for this. This week I did not do a plan with me video, but I did use it. I posted it on Instagram. So if you follow me there, you probably saw it. And I used a smaller one just for a reminder and love using them. I also use them, let me show you, for like if I want to, if I achieved something for like milestones, I will use them. I didn't show you this, but this I got from Lano N. It's um, this planner belongs to Kareen and this is from Planner Press. And this is a little card from Lano N as well. It's so cute, I don't even want to write in them. Um, and see, I will use a daily affirmation and put it like in the pockets so I can easily see them and remind myself of a few things. And like I was saying, I use the page flags. Not as page flags, but I love using them to write down some accomplishments. For example, when I hit 1,600 subscribers, I will use them right here. So love using them for that. And now let me show you some, a little bit more of the highlighters. These are from Amazon. I think they, I don't know how you pronounce them, but it's like Alohaster, Alohaster, I don't know. But they are amazing. They are very subtle. So let me show you. really quick here I don't think they have the name of the color so here is the beige here's the pink this one is lighter than this one and I will show you the difference I like this one better I guess this is more pink than this one but you see how light they are. Then we got the blue, green, and purple. And here are they, very subtle. All of these are so easy to use. It won't bleed, it's, I love them. 
And then my two favorite from Mild Liner is three favorites, these two. And this is beige. Even though it's in their neutral collection, it's still a little bit darker than the other ones that I have that I'm showing you. So this is a mild liner in beige. Then this is, I believe, what is it called? Gray. And this one is called, I don't use these as much as I use the other ones. This one is the cream. This one is very subtle. So these three right here are the mild liners. Okay, so now let's move on to this organizer and I will move the camera a little bit so you can see better. Okay, I'm back. I had to change the camera a little bit, the angle. So now I'm gonna show you how I use this and I got it from Amazon. So basically it's kind of like all my stickers and cards and all of that stuff. And so I have lots of cards here that I receive with my orders or that I have purchased and I'm, it's not in one of my planners. These two are from Cloth and Paper and I just got them with my last order. These are ones that I'm not using, but I am waiting for three planners, so I'm probably gonna find a way to use all of them. So I keep them right here. I absolutely love this. On top, I usually have planners that I'm not like using on the desk. I put them right here. These are just like, they'll have a white out right here, some other charms that it's not on my planner right now, and some labels. These are from Erica Crafts. Then I have some paper clips right here. These are from Amazon. It comes with gold and rose gold. So this is the rose gold and this is the gold. And, and I will sometimes even leave them open like that because it's just easier. This I also got from Amazon and it's the tiny one. It comes with a lot of them. So love this right here. And then right here, I have a pouch that came with one of my subscriptions when I was subscribed to Cloth and Paper. And I used to have my favorite stickers, the ones that I was using. However, I got new binders, like sticker albums for my stickers. And so now I have everything on here. These I got from Point Han and let me just show you this really quick and then we'll go we'll move to the to the albums these are from planner kate i used to plan with a lot of color i don't really do that right now i actually don't do that right now so i am a lot more minimalist right now and so some of them i'm not using so at the top here are the ones that i am using and at the bottom the ones that i am not these, I really like them. It's from a shop at Etsy. It's a hoot. I think that's how you say it. But I just find them to be a little bit bigger than I like right now. So I haven't been using them. Actually, I should put this one up because I do like this one. It's when I walk more than 10,000 steps a day. So I do love her stickers, to be very honest. I think it's a great price for a huge sheet. I mean, they're not transparent, but still. I order from her all the time. This ticker album here is also from her and these are a little bit more minimal. I mean, they have a little bit of color, but not much. And I also use these all the time as well. Okay, so let me show you my absolutely favorite shape stickers right now. This one is from My Paper Co and her shop is on Etsy. This color is Cafe Al Latte. And I have more from her. This is the color gray. And this is the color strawberry milk. And I have lots of shapes. This ones are from CK Journals, which I also like. And these are newer. It's from Sweet Caress. This was actually my first order from them. And I really like this color. It's called Wonder. And so I have lots of shapes. These are not in their pockets. I just use them on my week spread, so that's why they're here. And it's called the Oatmeal Color, and then some Pushpin. 
then I got these two that I'm going to remove from the plastic so you can see better. I wanted to see like all the colors that she offers so that I could know which ones I like better. However, I honestly like all of them. So I don't know if this was a good or bad idea because now I want like most of them. I feel like this is a little bit too light, but everything else, I love it. So love these. These ones are from Leo Haven. I do have a discount code on her shop. She's on Etsy and it's linked down below. And uh, what else do I have? This I just purchased. I haven't tried it yet. It's a little bit out of, not a little bit, let's be honest. It is out of my comfort zone because it has a lot more color than the neutrals, but still very subtle. So I want to try these. And these are from Arden and Stationery. I do have a discount code for 15% off in her shop, so it will be linked down below. And I really like the color. It's called Blushing. And I have some more right here. This was a freebie when I received my order from Lana Wynn. And then, you guys, I have been loving Sterling Inc. I am subscribed to her monthly subscription. And this was actually not a subscription. This was my first order and I just fell in love and I literally like subscribed the next day after I received. So I do keep it here. This is my subscription from July and I have been using these a lot on my faith planner and love them. This is probably not my favorite of all of her collections just because I am not extremely crazy about yellow. I like more pinks and blues and greens but i still love it love her stickers and these you can buy the refills so this one is one big pocket and then i do have some from coffin paper this is linen this one is ibiza and this one is cotton and then some other ones over here that i'm not really using so I did use this quite a bit, but then I received other ones and I'm using the other ones. That, sometimes I forget what I have. That's what happens when we have a lot of stickers. So I just have to revisit my album, the whole album, once in a while. So now what I did is I separated. So I have two of them. These will be the shapes and these are the um, scripts. So I have some here from Sweet Caress with some day off, work, or errands, relax, plan. Then these are errands, important reminder to do, to pay, to clean. These, I love this font. And I got two of them, nail appointment and hair appointment. And also this one right here with appointment, reminder to do, to buy. Um, some icons right here. And then she custom this one for me it's a um i i do have a peloton if you guys have been watching me you know the struggle that it is right now to ride but i just love having it and when i do ride i want to put a sticker on my spread then i got this one that says unplug um this one are printers and this one was another one that she customized i mean she does have this in her shop but the bottom is like red stickers and i'm not a huge fan of red for stickers i do have i do like red nails but not for stickers i i asked her if she could do just the peloton workout and let's ride and she did and i love them then i do have more icons this is from planner fluent i haven't used them a lot but i like them and these are from ardenas stationery and I love the size of her icon. It's not too small, it's not too big. It's like literally the perfect size. And so I have some savings, money, credit card. I use this when I have to pay my mortgage and reading, but I do use as planners too. This is cleaning. So just really cute ones. This is for like nails, the dog. I love using these and laundry, hair dryer, car doctor and so love them i had purchased this before and these are from planner fluent nothing wrong with them they are just a little bit too small for me so i haven't been using them let me show you like the difference in size i mean don't get me wrong these are not big but like 
the difference is minimal. Actually, the paw doesn't really show the difference, but let's see what could I show here. Okay, for example, the reading one, you can see the difference. So this is like tiny and this is mini. So I do like the mini better. If you are using a pocket planner, you would probably love these. These are very, very small. Then at the end here are some that I haven't been using much. And not that I don't like them, but I just have been finding myself using the transparent more than the white ones. So I do have some foiled ones right here that I love. And then this is it for my stickers. So I do love this organizer. I feel like it keeps everything very neat and I like that it's transparent so you can see what's inside. And I just like having everything that I use very easy to reach and everything looks very organized and very clean. So this was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.